turkey tracks right here, y'all. Look at that Velociraptor right next to my truck. <laughs> Welcome back to Outdoor Greatness, y'all. Thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. This video today requires a little setup, so I'm gonna set it up for you. It is currently spring right now. Critters are running wild. The lakes are heating up, and there's just animals that are getting out doing their thing. You know, spring has sprung. Currently, I'm sitting next to what looks like an excavator came through and bulldozed the yard, but uh, turns out it was just a hog last night. But today's video, y'all, is full of critters and some unexpected events, and I just had a good time. I'm also still recovering from a, a terrible situation that happened on my neck and face that involved some flying critters. But anyway, you'll see what happens in this video. Y'all, it is turkey season, and I have never killed a turkey. When I used to be a camera guy, I went on turkey hunts, and I filmed the process, so I know how it goes down. I'm terrible at calling, but, uh, you know, I've always been just a hardcore bass fisherman, and baseball player since you know my teenage years so that's it's a great time to do both quite honestly but I've never focused on turkey hunting now that I'm getting a little bit older I'm like man I want to do everything I want to do it all experience the outdoor greatness as a whole and this ties into the new Guggen HQ because we got so incredibly lucky with an amazing landlord turns out our landlord loves to hunt and fish he's a fighting Texas Aggie his son loves to fish and he invited me out to his ranch to come turkey hunting. How nice. So I happily obliged to go out with Mr. Everett and his son Garrett. And the thing that's so awesome about turkey hunting in the spring, it's one of the most beautiful times to be out in the outdoors. So this is what unfolded. While we're walking, Mr. Everett stops and he goes, you see that? I was like, oh shoot. And there was a big old hog out in the woods, probably 50 yards away. And then he takes off. So we take off running and then he's grunting and grinding his teeth. And out of nowhere, I didn't even know this, but Mr. Everett's like growling and clacking his teeth. And the, the hog is like voicing its concerns back. Like, hey man, this is my territory. What you doing here? Never seen anybody do that, and that was uh, flat out impressive. Apparently the place is full of hogs. Obviously it is if we're seeing them during the day, and that's one of the reasons he wanted to take me out there, show me around so I could come back and help him with the hog problem. But obviously I have my own hog problem here as well. But anyway, back to gobblers. Two gobblers. Set up over here. Yeah, 
had the gobbler coming in. He got about 110 yards or so away. And he just stopped and he was looking out in the woods and he was saying, where's my girl? I heard my girl over here, where's my girl? Unfortunately, there was a little brush line just on this corner where we were set up and the decoy was right behind there and he couldn't see the decoy. So he probably came 300 yards running. There was a big tree in front of me where I couldn't see him at first. And then he comes in and he appears. I'm like, oh, it's going down, it's going down. I get in position and then he just never closed the gap. Still really exciting hunt though. Getting to see a turkey come right at you full sprint is like watching a daggum dinosaur just coming full attack, getting ready to eat a goat like that movie. Jurassic Park. Turkeys are just a brutal creature for y'all y'all that have never turkey hunted and seen them in action. I mean, they fight. They got big old claws on the back of their heels. They just stab other turkeys with. They're mean. Anyway, they had some ponds out there that had never been fished. They had stocked them a few years ago with some fingerlings and they wanted to see, are there any bass out here? So I got the honor of making the first few casts. See how far he pushed in? Somebody ought to be turkey hunting this year. That is ridiculous. Look how big that crack is, dude. Yeah. We can tie up in the river. Oh my gosh. Turkey tracks right here, y'all. Look at that Velociraptor right next to my truck. Right where I parked, man. Oh, a little bit of grass right here. Mm-hmm. So there's bass in here. I stopped it two years ago just to be Wow. And you haven't fished it? What kind of snakes you got out here? The fun kind. All right. Oh, oh, got one there. Got him. On the bank. Look how pale and white he is. It's a muddy water fish. Dang. First one, man. Look at that. The cave is sitting in the dirt. In the dirt. Oh, there you go. Oh, Tail was literally in the dirt, probably. That's what you were talking to spawn about. Spawn or something. So that's yeah. probably a two-year-old bass that I put in here two years ago. Mm -hmm. That looks about a two-year-old bass for sure. There you go. Absolutely creamed it though. I'll give it a sniff. It smells good. Maple syrup. <laughs> not quite maple, but honey. So the ponds were not as fruitful as we were hoping. He gets a phone call, and there's a guy that is on some crazy fish over at this lake. His name's Gary. Turns out he's like buddies with the Fun and Son crew, the same guys that I know. He's got the exact same boat. And he's like, man, y'all need to get out here ASAP. These fish are biting. And we're like, I mean, I'm not gonna turn that down. And now it has transpired into what is commonly known as a blast and cast. I got a secret little spot. Set that up there. And we can probably snag us a giant off of it right quick. Don't horse him. Keep him out of the trolling motor. Walk around, walk around, walk around. Keep him out of the motor. All right. Sounds good. Woo wee. Mm hmm. All right. Woo wee. Oh, All right, that's a PR. That. That's a PR. Grab that fish. Oh, you don't need him up here. He's right up there where he's supposed to be. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> nice! That a boy. Oh my. That's bigger than the bass you caught in the pond. Dude, that's way bigger. Take a picture and try and weigh it. No. Yeah. I've got some scales. Well, I don't know if I'll be famous or not, but I know there's a lot of guys that won't believe it. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he's probably oh, a good solid seven and a half, eight pounds. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's an 850. Golly. Nice fish. He's got the bloody tongue. You ready? I'm ready. Hold him out further, we'll make him look big. <laughs> you ain't got to make out with me. There you go. Good job, sir. Let's see that. I got a set of scales. You mean to weigh it? Or have you already weighed it? I weighed him. We can weigh oh, you was 850? Yeah, well, you know what? That's a, just, that's a giant. That's just what we catch can, a bunch uh, of. Right look here. at that red tail, Take a man. picture of yeah. it with the scales. Whatever you want to do, sir. Uh, just call your PB on a crack and craw, dude. Heck yeah. There you go. Nicely done. 
Yes, sir. Congratulations, sir. We're gonna see if we can't find one of those. We got two PBs just happened right there. Yeah. Congrats. <laughs> Congrats. This lake's got some hammers. I got a backlash, I think. Hmm. I got one in the mouth, yeah. What, how long do these things live for? Um, big boy in there. Oh, God. Please. Got a big one. Smacked it. Oh, you got a giant. <laughs> Sorry. You got a giant. Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. They smoke us, better be. Yes, sir. <laughs> Big old fatty. There we go, y'all. Nice. That's probably about a, I don't know, pretty close to five pounds right there. So. That's a good one. Short fat one. Big boy. Coat on the old spinner bait. A little swimmer on the back. <laughs> These gnats out here are the worst I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> but I'm glad I got to catch a pig. <laughs> Love you, baby. Love you. Go have a good spawn. Yeah. Yeehaw! Bigger they had to be. For the win, the little one there, but crush that old spinner bait. Oh, oh we had the same idea. <laughs> oh, that's a big boy. Oh, there's another one on the bank up there. Look at this jigger, boys. That's oh, a big one. Total, total alert. Look at this jigger. Ah. Golly. <laughs> Thanks for tying on my cracking crawl, Dad. <laughs> That's a dandy. Get him out there where it looks where he looks big. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's there, a good one. Feeling with one of those big old girls. Stone. I'm pitching it right back where I saw that one. Oh, Garrett. Oh. There's a beaut. Get the hook out. Oh, you got it still. That's the stuff right there. Look at that crack and crawl. Look at that. Oh yeah. Guess what? It's a beaut. Are you gonna give it a sniff or what? Sure. <laughs> oh man. Just trying to give him a sniff. You gotta give him a double sniff now. There it is. Mm. <laughs> smell of victory. Invigorating. The smell of victory. Invigorating. Oh. What's your guess? I'm saying 4.5. 4.5. I hope. I don't want to over guess. 3.6. Nice. 3.6. That looks bigger than that. It does, yeah. doesn't it? Does. Here, let me zero. I think that sure. scale is a little funky. Let, let me re zero. Four, four. There we go. <laughs> a little off. A little off. Hey, weigh him again. It's going well. I didn't zero it the first time. <laughs> All right. Suck her up 10 pounds here in a minute. Let's go. Ah, right, boy. Good job, Garrett. Thanks. That makes it Nicely hard. done, Garrett. Thank you. Definitely. On the crack and crawl. On that crack and crawl, man. I'm telling you. There it goes. Uh-oh. We got another six pounder. I hadn't seen him yet. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go now. Another good one, huh? Good fish. On the point. Same good spot. Fish. Apparently, we just need to stay on, here. On the spinner. Spinner bait. Uh oh, I knocked oh. him off. Oh, yeah. oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a toad. Look at there. That's a toad. <laughs> toad alert. All the way back. Yep. Right on the Nicely floor. done. That will go about, I don't know, 17, 18 pounds? Yeah, yeah. Get that sniff in. He wants to sniff the camera. <sighs> the smell of it. That's right. Now it's That's right. That's right. Let's go. Oh man, this is this is a hot little spot right here, y'all. Maybe we ought to try it for a minute. You know, just give it a little slow dangle here. Oh god, I just got. Oh my goodness, absolutely hammered. Like you wouldn't believe. It was nasty. There he is. Oh, you got him. Nice. I did. Want me to get the big camera? Oh yeah. Oh, Another good one, man. Got one of those six pounders? Yeah, man. I mean, they are just lighting it up right here. Good fish. Oh, I that. got on. Here, I'll leave it. Stuck. There we go. That's a good fish, man. Yeah, they're, all the, they're like clones. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're all litter mates. Look at that. Dang. Hey, that's a good Another fish. Another toad. <laughs> that's a good fish. Another man. toad, I'm baby. I'm not sure if we're catching the same one or not, but... <laughs> Keep that spot lock on right here. <laughs> we're just gonna stay, we're just gonna camp out wow. here for a few minutes. Spinner bait with a little something, something right there. Can't tell you yet. Well, these we're are all like net land here. four or five pounders. Yeah, mm -mm. I mean, we got a 20 pound bag right there. Golly, man, this turkey hunting's fun. We should do this more <laughs> often, man. <laughs> Try it more. I've never had such a successful turkey hunting day in my life. That's amazing. 
And all oh. three of those basically are right. I mean, they're not five yeah. foot apart. No. I'm a sucker for the dangle. See you, baby. Mm. Y'all, that was just a flat out awesome day in the outdoors, except for those bugs. Come to learn now that those are called biting midges, y'all. You can Google it. They are nasty. They're kind of like mosquitoes. Like you don't exactly feel the bite too much, but later on, my gosh, my neck. Still recovering everywhere. My skin was exposed. They were just going after it. Apparently they breed around water and it was just full bloom like everything else in the outdoors right now going crazy shout out to our landlord mr everett and his son garrett for taking me out i'm sure it won't be the last time that we connect up uh, and the guggen hq is being developed right now and it's all going to be coming in the next few months that'll be uh available to the public to come up there but we're sprucing it up right now so stay tuned for that over at the guggen squad channel that is my outdoor story for the day and that is where i'm going to leave you on this video y'all Stay tuned. More fishing, more hunting to come. Turkeys. I'm going to get one. Daggum squirrel on the feeder right now. Hey, get off there. Freaking aim, man. All right, y'all. Go have yourself a very good blessed day in the outdoors, and I will catch you on the next adventure.